Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to dive into, the game development process. Whether you are an aspiring game developer or just curious about what goes on behind the scenes, this video will take you on a journey through the entire process, from concept to launch. So, let's get started. Game development studios follow their unique approaches and processes when creating games, with each having its own set of steps and stages. However, there are fundamental phases that every studio goes through during game development. These phases form the backbone of the game creation process. Every game development has three phases. First one is the pre-production phase, second one is the production phase, and the third one is the post-production phase. Let's discuss all these phases in detail. Let's start it with the first phase, the pre-production phase. The first phase of game development is pre-production. This is where the foundation of the game is laid out. It includes conceptualizing ideas, planning, and defining the game's scope and target audience. Let's break it down further. Idea generation. Before diving into game development, it's essential to brainstorm and gather ideas. Take inspiration from successful games, explore various genres, and think outside the box. The more ideas you have, the better chance you have of finding a unique concept for your game. Conceptualization and design. Once you have a pool of ideas, it's time to turn them into a game concept. Consider crucial elements like gameplay mechanics, engaging storytelling, and a captivating art style that will resonate with your target audience. Think about what will make your game stand out in a crowded market. Game documentation. To keep your ideas organized and serve as a roadmap, create a game design document GDD. This comprehensive document outlines key features, mechanics, characters, levels, and even monetization strategies for your game. The GDD acts as a reference point throughout the development process, ensuring everyone is on the same page. After that the second one is, the production phase. Once pre-production is complete, it's time to move into the production phase. This is where the game starts to take shape. Here is what happens during this phase, prototyping. Prototyping allows you to test and refine your game mechanics. It can be as simple as sketching on paper or creating digital prototypes to validate your ideas and iterate on them. This process helps you identify potential issues early on and make necessary adjustments. Art and asset creation, visual aesthetics play a significant role in games. Collaborate with artists and designers to create captivating character designs, immersive environment art, and a user-friendly UI UX that enhances the player experience. Your game's visual style should align with the intended atmosphere and theme. Programming and Development Game development requires coding and programming expertise. Choose a programming language that suits your game's requirements and start implementing game mechanics. AI behaviors, physics simulations, and other core features. Collaborate with programmers to ensure smooth integration of different components. Level design. Level designers are responsible for crafting engaging game environments and challenges. Utilize tools and software to design and construct levels that offer a balance between difficulty and fun. The design should encourage exploration and create memorable gameplay moments. The last and third phase is, the post-production phase, congratulations. Your game is taking shape. Now, it's time to enter the post-production phase, where everything is polished and prepared for launch. Here is what happens during this final stage, playtesting and QA. Playtesting is crucial for identifying and fixing bugs, balancing gameplay, and improving user experience. Involve quality assurance, QA, testers to thoroughly test your game across different devices and gather valuable feedback. The goal is to ensure a smooth and enjoyable gaming experience. Iteration and feedback, game development is an iterative process. Embrace feedback from play testers and incorporate their suggestions into your game. Continuously refine and improve based on the feedback received. 
Iteration is key to achieving a polished and enjoyable final product. Optimization and performance. Optimize your game to ensure smooth performance on various platforms and devices. Optimize code. Reduce load times, manage memory efficiently, and test the game on different hardware configurations. It's essential to deliver a seamless gaming experience to players. Release and launch after completing the necessary optimizations and addressing any remaining issues. It's time to release and launch your game. Consider different methods of distribution, such as app stores or online platforms. Create a marketing plan to generate buzz and build a community around your game. Engage with potential players through social media, press releases, and promotional events. While each game development studio may have its own unique variations and additional stages, these three fundamental phases, pre-production, production, and post-production, form the essential framework followed by all game developers. Understanding these phases provides valuable insights into the journey of game creation and highlights the dedication and expertise required to bring a game to life. And there you have it, the game development process from concept to launch. We covered the pre-production, production, and post-production phases, giving you a comprehensive overview of what it takes to bring a game to life. Remember, game development is a collaborative and iterative process, so don't be afraid to experiment, learn from failures, and keep refining your game. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy game development!